3D. Oh yeah. Look at this. At this. Or even at this. After feeling so inspired by these 3D websites, I decided I'm gonna learn 3D development. I thought it would be a perfect opportunity for me to learn Blender and 3D development in the 404 challenge that Ollie and I have hosted about like two months ago. So I took this opportunity to once again brute force myself to learn things I haven't learned before and create a creative 404 page with 3D elements. However, I've got only Well, the first thing I have to do is to learn the basics of 3D. So I went with learning Blender, familiarizing myself with the software and how learn how to make cool 3D models and things like that. And some of you might be asking, Hui, why are you not learning tools like Spline? It's like much easier and it's made for the web. Well, to be honest with you, I have no idea. So let's just go with Blender. Well, to get out of the way first, if you're curious where I learned Blender within this short amount of time or 3D development, Bruno's 3D Jazz Journey is probably one of the best all-in-one course for 3D development. It's quite expensive, but I think it's super worth it. And it's not sponsored in any way. I just really recommend checking it out. Anyhow, I was incredibly excited to jump straight into Blender. I thought Blender controls and shortcuts would be similar to Figma, so I was really confident opening Blender thinking that it was easy to understand their interface and use the software right away. But I was wrong by a thousand planets away. It took me like hours to eventually get used to Blender, and to be honest, some part of it was quite frustrating. But hey, at the end of the day, it was not too bad, and I was able to follow along we're doing good. After spending time to learn the software, I eventually got used to the basics, so I spent that time just playing around with basic models, and most importantly, creating a lot of deformed monkeys. So it was generally quite fun to play around in Blender. Now that I have 10 years of experience with Blender, it was time to test out my skills by doing a mini project, creating a hamburger. As I followed along Bruno's tutorial, I eventually got used to some of the basic modifiers like subdivision surface and beveling, I was also a bit more comfortable figuring out how to switch editing modes to manipulate the geometries of the object. But hey, it doesn't look bad, right? It looks edible. Not gonna lie, after making this hamburger, I definitely felt so much more confident using Blender. So after that, I felt a little bit more comfortable just straying off my own and you know start actually making some progress on my 404 page. But to make sure that I'm on the right track, I prepared myself a mini roadmap from start to finish, listing out what I should learn and create moving forward. So my next step was to create my own models so I can use it for my own 404 page where I didn't really know what to make and I had this initial idea in my head where there would be a few 3D models floating on the page in space with a big 404 slapped in the middle. So I went to do some digging on the internet looking for inspiration and after some time on Pinterest my shiny object syndrome caught the attention of these pretty looking dispersion glassy models. Then that introduced me to the world of shaders. So I spent like hours watching this specific tutorial on YouTube to recreate this specific glass shader so I can later export it into code and use it for my final project. But then reality struck me. As soon as I got this done and went to export it to code, guess what happened? It became like this. And that time I realized how many hours I've wasted just to implement these shaders. And in fact, after doing some searches on Google, I only needed the model and the shaders had to be done in code. So at the end of the day, I made no progress from my 404 page, but at least I got to try to make something cool, right? So on day four, I scrapped the idea of using shaders in general since it would take me quite a while to figure out, especially given the time frame. So I would spend the rest of the day creating a lot of different models for my scene. And most of them, I just kind of played around with the modifiers and the texture settings until I found something that I quite like. At this stage, although it's a very simple thing, but I've genuinely found it so enjoyable working with Blender and creating these creative 3D shapes and models. Yeah, it's it's really fun and although it's a very new territory for me, I can definitely see myself doing more of this in the future. Now that I've learned the basics of Blender and have my scene ready, it's about time to code. To be honest, I did not really know where to start, but I remember watching a YouTube video suggesting I should learn React 3 Fiber first if I already know React. In my opinion, if you know React, uh, you can get started with React 3 Fiber really quickly and learn the basics there. Uh, this is So that's exactly what I did. So the rest of the day I spent watching Bruno's tutorials to learn the basics of React 3 Fiber from the syntax, understanding the libraries built in components, handling meshes, canvases, and so much other stuff, it's literally limitless. 
I also learned how to use a helper library called React3J. I won't get into the nitty gritty details, but this library made my experience doing 3D development so much more fun and simpler. If you're diving deeper into 3D development, there's some honorable mentions as well. I recommend using the React3 Fiber Performance Library to monitor your performance so your computer doesn't explode to a million pieces. And also use the level library to tweak your 3D settings in the browser instead of manually changing the values in code. After long hours of learning the React 3 Fiber, I was confident to start working on the 404 page. So we refer to Ollie's video to import my model into the code and add some interactivity into it. But after receiving some feedback from the community that it took too long to load the models, I had to do something about it. So I did some digging on what would improve the performance and I found that I needed to use low poly models to reduce the number of geometries that are being rendered on the scene. So I went to Blender again to reduce the number of geometries in my scene and low poly models. So this is what I have so far in the code. Wait, we're missing some lights. Okay, you know what? Time's ticking and I don't have much time left, so I gotta wrap this up ASAP. Despite learning about lighting in Bruno's course, I still couldn't wrap my head around it. So one of the last things I've did for the day was to play around with the lighting and environment settings to try to achieve this dramatic and cinematic lighting-ish. Honestly, I have no idea what I'm doing, but I guess it's not bad. Now then, finally, after I got all the 3D stuff done, it was about time just to garnish things with just some basic HTML and CSS. So for the final garnish, I added some grain to add some texture to the project and few animated CSS blobs to make it feel more dramatic and add some depth to the scene to balance that with the 3D objects. And I'm happy to show you the final results of the 404 page and I always thought I was never going to do these kind of stuff but here we are and it's not too bad. Well, hopefully this video inspired you to learn 3D development alongside with me as well. And to be honest, so far I've only touched the surface of 3D development. And just like the tip of the iceberg, there's just so many other things within the realm of 3D I haven't touched yet. So I went even further after this challenge to experiment more with things like materials, shaders, textures, and just so many other things. And yeah, it's like a completely different story. But hey, if you're interested in what I'm doing, um, I sometimes post on my Instagram to show like what I'm experimenting with, especially in terms of creative development. So if you're interested, just give me a follow. If not, that's okay. And as usual, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure to do your thing down there or check out these other videos where I also build stuff as well. But yeah, that's about it. See ya.